Right, so this is the uh, last part of this lecture. So I'm going to explain to you the idea of uh, of Horney's criticism yeah, to classical psychoanalysis that, that she felt uh, to, to sexist for women and uh, a lot uh, and made from a lot of discrimin discriminatory attitudes a discriminatory uh, view on women. So Horney was very critical to Freud and she publicly uh, confront, confronted uh, Freud uh, of his idea that uh, especially the penis invite um, as she believed that penis invite it actually doesn't have uh, an evidence to prove or to falsify this phenomenon and Freud was actually used this term and proposed this term uh, based on his very very limited clinical observation on a, uh, on a handful of women yeah so this is just not an uh, so again this is uh, a part of psychology where psychologist does not uh, don't uh, didn't have a uh, proper training in scientific methods so this is uh, the part where intuitive psychology was very very popular back then but again uh, the very modern of psychology now is very very different from uh, from it from where it, from what it was uh, a few a few decades back so it's completely changed now. And um, in his books, uh, Freud described uh, and interpreted this phenomenon of observing a handful of women uh, from a very strict uh, male of view, of course, because he's a male. He's a male, yeah? And this is a time uh, where, this is after the World War I, if I'm mistaken, yeah? And after, uh, in that decade, um, well, women were treated as a second-class citizen, even until now, perhaps, it is still exists. But it was much more worse back then. So that's why he was rather hostile uh, to, uh, towards women. And he adopted a very sexist view uh, in seeing abnormal people, abnormal uh, person. Uh, he would argue that women are more... Uh, fragile are more uh, are riskier of having uh, psychological disturbance rather than men because women cannot think rationally why is that I'll give you an explanation on that later so um, Freud said that uh, women women are cursed uh, uh, by the God <laughs> and not by God but they, but they but but women are cursed by their anatomy because uh, women don't have penis and they are mad furious about it and resent it uh, why they don't have why the women don't have penis while the women could have penis and this in various feelings uh, is formulated as a penis in yeah. yeah and Freud also said that women has a poorly developed super ego, so that's why he, so so that's why they behaved uh, rather uncivil rather than women, uh, rather than men. And this is a result of inadequately solved uh, Oedipal complex. Yeah, maybe you still. Rem I hope that you still remember the Oedipal, the Oedipus complex. So women actually has this Oedipal complex, so they have the feelings of. Uh, the sexual desire towards their father and then have a resentful have a resentment to the mothers but this conflict is not completely uh, solved yeah it's completely different from the men where men could have this conflict completely resolved so that's why women has less developed uh, super ego so this is the reason why uh, as Freud argued repeatedly that women are irrational they would not they would not behave uh, more civil than men and even uh, women because they because women believe that they were really castrated so that's why they don't have penis so this is a very odd way to describe uh, what happens to women but this is a widely adopted view in that time in that time of course it's quite ridiculous if you uh, if you see this uh, in the present times, but it was widely believed 
and unfortunately un unbelievably widely believed uh, in that era yeah so that's that's penis, yeah, penis in vai is actually rooted from the belief that uh, the women were castrated uh, by by uh, by their mother yeah so that's why they don't have penis and uh, horny actually countered this idea she said that uh, maybe the same mechanism or the same phenomenon could happen as well to to men where they actually invite women of having a womb yeah so uh, on the other hand yeah, this is a rather uh, strange and odd is very strange ideas but uh, you can judge yeah yourself um, because of you know having a having a having having a children yeah bearing a children is 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 a pleasure is a pleasure um, uh, is a pleasure feeling you know, when the child uh, were born when the child uh, children were born so uh, this in this position that uh, men could have also these envious feelings towards women because women has the capacity has the ability to bear a child yeah and maybe the the feeling of inferiority that freud uh, had observed back then was actually a depiction that women felt uh felt unworthy in a way as the cause of people treating them like a second class citizen in a very very masculine dominated culture so the feeling of inferiority that were described uh, that was described by freud was actually is actually a depiction where people feel where people where, where women felt uh, they were simply being treated unfairly by the society so it's more like social reason social and institutional factors rather than the sexual uh, sexual reasons so that's what that's why i think this the the her explanation is is starting to uh, to make more sense rather than what freud says and as the cause of this feeling of inferiority women can choose to deny their femininity um because you know femininity does not is not accepted in the in a, very, in a male dominated culture so they may, they may choose to deny that and unconsciously unconsciously they wish they were a, they were a man yeah uh, so this is a condition uh, where uh, where Karen Horney described as a flight of womanhood so women try to escape uh, away from their to escape being away from the uh, from from their uh, nature as a women and this condition could lead to sexual inhibition so they refuse or maybe are having a dysfunction yeah to have a, to have a sexual relation with other uh, with with with, them, with men yeah and um, apart from that uh, that that explanation of inferiority the feeling of inferiority that happens to uh, to a woman uh, horny also expressed uh, a concern that i think it's quite really uh, relevant to uh, to the present times where she uh, perceives the idea of conflicting roles that the women should uh, should uh, should should fix yes yeah, she should handle um, where uh, a traditional view of a woman where women should uh, has a sole role in domestic in a domestic area and while they don't uh, while they are not allowed to have a career outside the domestic role that they have uh, so uh, the, this conflicting role is quite relevant until today but it's maybe it's less less uh, less and less relevant where people uh, has has uh, has few that domestic roles actually it's more like a cooperation between uh, the husband and the wives so it's not like merely the duty of one specific or particular gender so but this is again still relevant until today and uh, horny also uh, advised the women to seek their own identity yeah and developing their abilities by pursuing a career actually having uh, having a life outside the domestic uh, area in yeah, the domestic aspects would also good for a, would be good for women to to actually to reflect their own identity and this again in the present times is something that is very difficult for example if you are a woman woman then 
and it's very likely that you will experience the role conflict where you should whether you should uh, take care of your children or um, prioritizing your work and sometimes they don't always go in line <laughs> yeah so there are lots of times where uh, that that women should uh, that that woman would experience this at this at the point of their lives. Um, right. So that would be the uh, last part of this lecture. Uh, I really hope that you would find it helpful. So if you have any questions, again, you can always ask uh, your questions uh, anonymously, or you can do it un anonymously uh, on the Google spreadsheet, or you just can drop me an email. So thank you very much. I hope you a very good, uh, very great day. Thank you very much.